Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, dual chromes, multi chromes, blush, highlight, lip gloss, basically everything except pressed glitter and today we're going to be ranking all the palettes that I tried in February so if that sounds like something you're interested in stick with me we're getting into it right now. Okay and I think the elephant in the room on this video is the fact that it is March <laughs> and I think my January and February rankings are going to go up very late but it is what it is better late than never. I'm hoping to be able to do all of these each month and then do a whole year ranking at the end of the year so fingers crossed. But let's start off with this palette. This is the Nika K Poison Apple palette. I think these are supposed to be dupes for the Huda Beauty palettes and I do think they're pretty decent. I had of course quite low expectations for these palettes because I think they were $3.99 that we found at like a Dollar Tree kind of place. I do think the Metallics actually do have a really nice sheen to them. They have that really soft buttery kind of feel to them very similar to the Metallics in Flower Beauty the jungle lights and then the desert lights that really buttery like silky smooth feeling that's what these have and they are very pretty shimmers the mattes are pretty decent as well there's a lot of pigment to them so I'm quite surprised by this palette but it's I mean it's a monochromatic palette so it's not like the most versatile which is why it's ranking at the bottom of this ranking this month oh and we're gonna be here a long time if I keep swatching all right, next up, this is the ColourPop of Quartz palette, and I was really drawn to this. First of all, I was really drawn to the Melt Mary Jane palette, but I ended up not buying it because I was like $58 for this palette. I don't think I need it, so I kind of like let it go, and when I saw this came up, I was like, this is my Melt Mary Jane, so I ordered it, and then when I got it, I was like, this looks really soft. And the looks that I've done with it are really soft, delicate, smoky looks. I do like it a lot. But there's part of me that's missing that like really deep grunge kind of look to the Melt Mary Jane palette. I think I will get more of that out of the Darth Vader palette from ColourPop that I ordered. So hopefully I'll be able to give that a try soon and let you know. Um, but this one, I think it's pretty, it's just very soft, very light. So that's why I kind of floated down lower. Next up, this was kind of a surprise find. I picked up the Cara Beauty. This is the Behind the Mask palette. And the reason I picked this up at Marshalls for $7.99 was that I thought it looked a lot like the Encanto palette um, from Alamar Cosmetics. And this might be a little bit more accessible for some people than the Alamar palette, especially because I think that finally sold out. So let me see if I can unearth that palette, which by the way, my kids will not stop watching Encanto. It's like their new favorite movie. So I'll show them two side by side. You can see some of the greens are pretty similar. You've got kind of those like purpley, like lavender purple dual chromes here you've got like a couple of kind of pinky and gold type shades and then a brown so I think if you look at them pretty closely you'll see there's actually quite a lot of similarities so that's why I picked this one up I do think this has a really nice formula the metallics in it are very very soft very smooth they're so so pretty and this metallic black really got me I'm like all four metallic blacks right now but you can see how pretty they are. And this like shimmery feather shade catches the light almost like a super shock shadow. It's really, really pretty. So for me, I think this is a really nice palette. But again, it's kind of big. Um, and I already have something kind of similar to it. So it floated towards the bottom for that reason. But I do think it's a good quality palette. So if you're looking for something similar to Encanto and missed that palette, this Cara Beauty one might be for you. All right, and this is where it start to get starts to get a little bit challenging. The next palette that I want to talk about is the Huda Beauty Wild Python palette. Can you guys see the like shift? Oh yeah, there you go. There to there. <laughs> So cool, I love it. I love the little like details that she puts into the palettes. So this is a little nine pan, it looks like this. I was so drawn to it because of these shimmers, like this lime green shimmer, this kind of grungy green toned gold, this really pretty blue, like all of this really captured my attention. 
the trouble is the mattes. Like the mattes are just very lackluster. I feel like they don't have a lot of pigment. So I find myself reaching into other palettes to kind of round out an eyeshadow look when I wish it was a little bit more um, like a one and done in one palette kind of a look. So for me, the mattes just are not enough, but the shimmers I do think are pretty and that's why it ranked a little bit lower. Oh, this next one, <laughs> this next one breaks my heart. Like physically hurts me and it's this palette right here so this is the martin cosmetics 669 palette and it opens up like that it is so so pretty inside let me see if i can get you a close-up now that my camera sometimes auto focuses yes so the things that attract me about this palette this silvery metallic here and then this one up here, very, very pretty. The trouble is this multi-chrome, this multi-chrome, this multi-chrome are all very thin formula. Like you have to push and dig to get like some pigment up. And then when you actually do swatch it, it's like, like it's there. Ooh, actually that looks really nice. It's there, but it's just not like as wow as like my Cleona shade. And I have a Cleona shade that looks like this. Hold, please. So you see how the Cleona shade just like kicks everyone else out of the water? And I think it's just like a volume of the pigment issue because I think the Martin Cosmetics just has a lot less of the multi-chrome pigment in it than the Cleona shades. So I think I'm just spoiled by the fact that I have a lot of the Cleona shades that the Martin Cosmetics shades are not as impressive to me. But if you don't have any multi-chromes and you aren't interested in buying multi-chromes from like indie brands like Cleona, Davina, anything like that, this would be a nice way to try a couple of them out. Just know that there are better formulas out there. So that's the part that's disappointing for me about that one. Whew, yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Keeping in the same vein of the blues and greens, the next one up is the Menagerie Whale Song Palette. And I picked this up after they decided that they were going to discontinue it. I actually really like their square pans, so I'm kind of bummed they're going to be switching over to circle pans. I don't know why, but I just feel like Menagerie belongs in square pans. But anyway, I think this is really pretty. The only shade that really doesn't seem to fit with this is this pearl shade it's an iridescent like white to icy blue and I do think it's pretty but with sort of the murky greenness of a lot of the blues that are in here I feel like the only shade it could even really go with is like this one and this one maybe I don't know it just seems kind of out of place but I think the rest of the palette's really pretty the only drawback is stains like a mother so if you do not like staining in palettes skip this one And then the next one to talk about, this is the Viseart palette. This is the, what is this, Paris Atoile palette. And it looks like this. It's a teeny tiny little mini palette. Teeny tiny. I love it. My dad used to make fun of me when I wanted to buy, like, cute little mini-sized things at the grocery store. And be like, we're not wasting money on cute stuff at the grocery store. Anyway cute palette. I like the grays in here. I love this metallic black. I like that you have some colors here, but I do wish these had a little bit more of like the blue and the purple to them rather than just gray because I feel like if you blend these two shades out too far, they just pull very gray. So if you are not a fan of that, I would say this is probably not the palette for you, but if you want something that's going to pull very smoky, very gray, and just look very soft, it's a beautiful, beautiful little palette. 
And then probably my favorite palette I played with this month was the Odin's Eye Norns palette. And this one is not a new one to my collection the way the other ones are. Um, but this one I kept pulling into for different looks this, this past month. And I really liked it. I loved getting a chance to play with this pink chameleon shade, which I did not realize initially was a multi-chrome. I don't know how that missed my entire brain, but it is. Let's see if I can do it across here. You see that? Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. So I was using that for inner corner. I was using it for lid shades. I was going crazy with that shade in addition to some of these other palettes. And I think it came out really, really nice. So for me, this, when I looked at all the palettes that I picked out this month, this was the one that I was the most excited about. So it flew up to the top. So. With that said, you're going to have to let me know what kind of palettes were you playing with the month of February. I'm actually surprised that I didn't play with more of my like pinky tone palettes because usually that's my jam. I mean, I have an entire drawer of pinky tone palettes, so I don't know what got into me. But you guys are going to have to let me know what you were playing with this uh, past month. If you're interested in this eye look, it's going to be coming in a video where I'm using the Unearthly Cosmetics uh, what is a sleepover palette? I think yeah the sleepover palette. So if you're interested in that stick around It's coming eventually. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye oh. Do I really have to wipe off all these multi-chromes look how pretty they are